So there's a man from Montana named Samuel Hoffman, and back in 1978, Samuel discovered that we actually have a twin cellar system that our government wasn't telling us about. The government found out about Samuel's discovery and not long afterwards forced Samuel into signing a 30-year non-disclosure agreement to keep him quiet. That agreement ended in 2010, which was the same year these other planets started becoming visible. Samuel said they do not want people to know these other planets exist because some of the planets are inhabited and Earth is actually considered a factory planet where we provide commodities like gold to some of these other planets in this other solar system. This other system travels on an elliptical cycle and every 3,600 or so years our two solar systems meet up. This is the real reason for why our skies look as strange as they do. We're seeing the atmospheres of these other planets that are currently in between Earth and our Sun. Each planet has its own particular looking colors and cloud textures which have been studied and documented for over 10 years now. Also, back in the early 80s Samuel was abducted by a Pleiadian who supplied Samuel with the names of these planets, one of which is Nibiru. Samuel also has a rare ability called farsighting which allows him to see visions in his mind of these other planets, their moons and even the asteroids that are associated with this other system. He then dries out what he sees and I'm here to tell you, his accuracy is undeniable. Also, gravity is basically a lie. We actually live in an electrical universe, not gravitational. These planets repel electromagnetically. They create powerful lightning storms as they push themselves away from Earth. There's literally no limit to the number of lies our government tells in order to keep people from knowing this other system exists and is passing above our heads daily. Things like climate change, geoengineering, Project Blue Beam, HARP, the Sun Simulator and even chemtrails are all cover-ups and distractions to explain away all the strange effects that we're seeing in our skies today. They have conditioned most people into believing all the streaks we see in the sky are man-made chemtrails when actually most of these streaks are caused by these other planets and asteroids dragging across our atmosphere. Only a small amount are man-made. For more information on our twin solar system, I recommend you go to YouTube to see Samuel Hoffman's collection of videos and interviews as well as finding him on Facebook under Montana Skywatcher number 2 as well as visiting our Nibiru Followers Anonymous group. Thank you for watching.